In the heart of the scientific community, one piece of news has caused ripples in the fabric of our understanding. Albert Einstein might have been wrong and for decades no one noticed. For four years Einstein's ideas about the universe, especially his insistence that it obeyed the strict rules of locality, were considered absolute truths. He believed that the universe was a predictable and orderly place governed by universal laws. But now, quantum computers and experiments on the smallest scales of reality are showing us something radically different, challenging the classical worldview that has stood for centuries. Einstein, the great genius who transformed physics, was not just a spectator to quantum theory, he was an early contributor. His 1905 paper on quantum mechanics was groundbreaking, but now experiments are revealing behaviors that transcend even his profound insights. Phenomena like faster-than-light correlations and strange quantum behaviors that defy all intuition are forcing us to rethink everything we thought we knew about reality. And this is no longer the stuff of theory, it's observable, undeniable proof that quantum physics is rewriting the rules of time in classical perspectives. Let's start with time. In the classical realm, as understood by Newtonian physics, time was considered absolute. It flowed uniformly, independent of anything else in the universe. This was a comforting notion. It aligned perfectly with our day-to-day -day experiences. Imagine a falling apple or the ticking of a clock. These are events that follow a predictable, linear course, where cause precedes effect. Newton's laws of motion gave us precise equations to predict what would happen next, making the universe seem like a giant clockwork machine. In this classical framework, the idea of changing the past is not just absurd, it's logically impossible. The past is immutable and the future is wide open, but only in the forward direction. Entropy, the measure of disorder, steadily increases, reinforcing the arrow of time and irreversible movement from order to chaos. This was the reality and it seemed inviolable. But as we'll soon discover, quantum mechanics doesn't adhere to this comforting order. At the smallest scales of nature, time and causality behave in ways that are downright strange. At the dawn of the 20th century classical physics began to show cracks. Black body radiation and the photoelectric effect posed problems that Newtonian mechanics couldn't resolve. That's when a revolutionary idea began to emerge, quantum mechanics. This was not just a refinement of old theories, but a completely new framework that fundamentally altered how we think about reality, especially when it comes to the smallest scales of existence. Central to quantum mechanics is the idea that particles, electrons, photons and others, don't have a fixed state before being measured. Instead, they exist in a superposition of multiple possibilities. They are described by something called a wave function, a mathematical tool that gives the probabilities of finding a particle in a particular state when measured. In simpler terms, until we observe them, particles exist in a kind of quantum haze of uncertainty. This principle was famously captured by Werner Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, which says that the more precisely we know one property of a particle, like its position, the less precisely we can know another property like its momentum. Perhaps the most captivating discovery in quantum mechanics is quantum entanglement. When two particles interact in certain ways they can become entangled. Their properties become intertwined in such a way that the state of one particle can never be fully described without referencing the state of the other, no matter how far apart they are. These entangled particles seem to communicate instantly, even if they are separated by vast distances. To illustrate, let's imagine two photons created at the same time. If one photon is observed to have a particular polarization, the other photon will show the opposite polarization, regardless of whether it's on the other side of the universe. It's as if the two particles are connected in a way that bypasses the conventional limitations of space and time. This violates the classical notion that information cannot travel faster than the speed of light. Entanglement challenges the idea of locality, the idea that objects can only interact with each other in a direct way without any spooky instantaneous connection. Instead, it suggests that the universe might be interconnected in ways that go far beyond what our everyday experiences can comprehend. In the 1960s, physicist John Bell made a breakthrough that would forever change the way we understand quantum mechanics. He proposed a mathematical inequality known as Bell's inequality that could be used to test whether quantum entanglement was real or just some weird anomaly. If classical theories were correct, entangled particles should not show any strange correlations. But if quantum mechanics was right, the correlation between measurements of entangled particles would violate Bell's inequalities. Over the following decades, numerous experiments were conducted to test Bell's inequality. One of the most famous series of experiments was conducted by Alain Aspect and his team in the 1980s, which confirmed that quantum mechanics was indeed correct. 
the particles behaved in ways that local hidden variable classical theories could not explain. Quantum mechanics showed that at the smallest scale, reality was non-local, where cause and effect weren't constrained by space and time as we thought. Another surprising aspect of quantum reality is the intrinsic property of particles called spin. Unlike classical angular momentum, spin is not a literal rotation but rather an essential quality that determines how a particle interacts with magnetic fields. The key point is that until measured, quantum spin does not have a definite value. Instead, the particle exists in a superposition of multiple possible spin states. For instance, let's say two entangled particles have opposite spins. If one particle's spin is measured and found to be up, the other will instantly be found to be down. It's as though the measurement on one particle determines the state of the other, even though the particles may be separated by vast distances. One of the most mind-bending experiments in quantum mechanics is the delayed choice experiment. This experiment starts with the famous double-slit experiment, where particles like photons behave as both waves and particles. When no measurement is made, particles create an interference pattern, a signature of wave-like behavior. But if you measure which path the photon takes, the interference pattern disappears, and the photon behaves like a particle. The delayed choice experiment takes this a step further. It involves deciding whether or not to measure the photon's path after it has passed through the slits. And here's the baffling part. Whether the photon behaves like a wave or a particle seems to depend on the measurement made after it has already traveled through the slits. This experiment suggests that the very act of measurement can affect the behavior of the particle retroactively. As we stand on the threshold of the quantum revolution, new technologies like quantum computing are pushing us into a future where the very fabric of reality is being rewoven. The laws of the quantum world may seem strange, but they are also unlocking transformative technologies that could reshape everything from information processing to communication and beyond. In the end, Einstein's worldview, grounded in classical physics, might not have been entirely wrong, but it was incomplete. The true nature of reality is far stranger, more interconnected, and more full of possibilities than we ever thought. The universe is not a clockwork machine. It is a quantum playground where uncertainty, entanglement, and even the flow of time itself are in a constant dance and we are just beginning to explore it.